How's it going everyone? It's Max Fisher here. It's a little windy out today, but uh, I figured I'd shoot the video outside anyhow. I just talk a little louder and I'm sure you guys can hear me. I'm kind of losing my voice from yelling so much at my new job. Uh, just going around and training people, getting them physically fit and uh, I'm loving it. I'm loving the journey guys. But uh, today I want to talk about a little bit of sacrifice and I want to talk about distractions guys. When it comes down to it, you're going to have to sacrifice a little bit of comfort for a higher pleasure. That's ultimately what it's going to come down to. You can watch TV, you can eat that crappy food, you can, you know, not go to the gym, you can sit on your ass, you can not do the work that you know you have to to propel you forward. You can listen to music instead of personal development. It might not always be easy and it's not always going to be comfortable to make that change in your life and you're going to have to sacrifice that comfort to get to that higher higher pleasure, higher self, higher being. Um, and uh, with a lot of it, a lot of the sacrifice comes from sacrificing not only comfort but distractions. Distractions like social media, getting your validation from social media and the amount of likes that you have. I mean, where is that really even going to bring any sort of amount of happiness? It's like a it's almost like a pill dispensed drug. You post something, you come back 10, 15 minutes later and it's almost without a doubt somebody at least liked it. And that's like, you almost get like a little chemical dump from that, a little bit of serotonin, just from that like. That's a distraction guys, watching TV, watching movies over that you've already seen, not taking the point away the first time. There's no need to waste your life on these meaningless tasks, guys. There's way too much that you could be doing. There's way, you gotta sacrifice every moment to become the person that you wanna be. And your focus, when I say unwavering intent, that's what it means, guys. That's what it comes down to, is putting aside the distractions, knowing what you really want, and not taking any time out of your day to move in the opposite direction. Now what do I really mean by that? So universal law of attraction, the, the premise is that there's no indifference. I mean, so you're either propelling yourself forward or you're taking yourself away. There's no gray area, there's no uh, undisputed, there's no neutral. It's you're either going towards it or away from it. And every time you pick up a distraction, every time you're not working towards your goals, every time you take that little bit of comfort over doing what you know you should be doing, you're going in the wrong direction, guys. And maybe, maybe you didn't wake up today. Maybe that was your opportunity. What if that moment was your opportunity to make it happen? What if that moment was the opportunity that you needed, that you... If you put in that just that little amount of work, something magical could have happened. You could have changed your mindset. You could have brought into Florissan something greater and bigger than what you currently have in front of you. So keep that in mind, guys. I mean, Eric Thomas's famous quote was, you have to be ready at any moment to sacrifice who you are for who you want to become. That is powerful, powerful, powerful right there, guys. Think about it on Sunday. Most people aren't willing to sacrifice. On the weekend, most people aren't willing to sacrifice. They think I sacrificed all week for my well-being, my, my, you know, my living, my whatever. I need a little relaxation. Guys, you can't be, ultimately, you're sacrificing your higher being for a little bit of comfort. That's really what you're sacrificing by, um, you know, by staying down at this low level and taking all this relaxation. And I mean, I understand we all get burnt out. I get burnt out, but what are you getting? What are you really getting burnt out? Are you just burnt out because you're not even using all your energy and you've come down to a lower vibrancy? If you find that you take all of your effort and put it forth every single day, you get burnt out eventually. But every time you reach that breaking point, you rest, you recover, you push further, you grow stronger, guys. That's the it's the same thing with your muscle failure. So this. This weekend, I want you guys to take full advantage of what you're doing. I want you to cut out the distractions. I want you to take comfort and put it aside and work towards what you need to be working towards, whether it's your body, whether it's your mind, whether it's your financial situation, whether it's your emotional state, whatever it is, guys, 
sacrifice that time, sacrifice that effort, and put it forth to bring you closer to where you want to be. If sitting down and meditating for 15 minutes, less than, I don't even know, I don't even know what 15% is, it's probably less than like one or two percent of your day. If sitting down and meditating for 15 minutes a day seems like, like it's just too much, it's just you got too much going on and you can't sacrifice that time to sit down and clear your head and, you know, help you think better, see clearer, perceive what's more truth than untruth, then you're on the wrong path, guys. You gotta understand that you can you can sacrifice that that TV, you can sacrifice that uh, that you know that little bit of comfort, whatever it is, that food, that computer, that social network, that uh, drug that whatever it is guys you need to realize that that's not going to bring you true happiness because when you find out what you truly want you know what true happiness is and you know what's going to get you that true happiness now on the flip side if you know it's going to get you true happiness you got to be able to be willing to take action a lot of people know what's going to get them true happiness but a lot of people might not think it's possible or might not believe it's possible for them so with this challenge guys i need you to keep the faith i need you to realize that if you guys put in the work do the effort or put in the effort do the work you guys will come out of this greater stronger better wiser smarter than you were 30 days ago and that's the process every day self-developing they call it personal development but every moment you're a different person the person i was a second ago is different from the person i am now because i made the choices to say these words and it's forever imprinted on history so in personal development as you change as you constantly change so is your personal development so is your understanding and it's just a growth process just like the fibonacci sequence it starts out small and then it builds momentum and it multiplies and builds momentum and builds mo more and more momentum and that's kind of what we're doing here we're just building more momentum gaining our understanding learning how to sacrifice our compulsions how to control our compulsions and bring our focus so that way we can push towards our dreams and our aspirations without falling to the wayside and getting stuck in a rut with whatever it might be that's uh, your vice and holding you back. So on this Fired Up Friday, guys, I really want you to take advantage of this weekend. I really want you to go out there and get after it. It's going to be nice out, guys. It's just, The summer's coming. It's, it's already beautiful. But sometimes you have to sacrifice this beauty for, you know, maybe a higher beauty. Maybe being able to spend, if you don't like the winters, if you don't personally like the winters, maybe you're sacrificing this summer to spend next winter somewhere nice. Maybe you're sacrificing... You know, a little time on the lake in your kayak so that way you can buy, you know, a hundred weekends ahead of you with a nice big boat or whatever it is. Now, that stuff's not going to truly make you happy, but, you know, it'd be nice to have that free time, that financial freedom, that that unworrying, you know, that um, that knowing that you're moving forward, that you can still enjoy life. If you are getting on that lake, or just for an example, if you're getting on that lake with your kayak and you're thinking to yourself, man, I could be doing a lot of other things to propel myself forward, then you're not really happy with what you're doing right then and there. So you need to really change that, guys, and that's part of it. You know, be present in the moment, enjoy the moments, but take the time to sacrifice a portion of your day to move forward in your ventures of life. So, with all that said, roll it into a big package. Um, take it, apply it, use it, think about it, restructure your mind, guys. The reason why I only do videos every other day is because I don't want people to feel like they're going to find the next big hint the next day and the next day. I want you guys to take the next day, take the time, apply some of it, start working on it, start developing a plan of action because it's not, when it really comes down to it, it doesn't really goddamn matter what I say. It doesn't matter at all what I say, guys. If you're not doing any of the work, it doesn't really matter. You guys can listen to me. You can get all the feel-good stuff you want. But if you're not going out there and taking action, nothing's going to happen for you. This is a physical world, guys. I can understand there's different paths to the ultimate. You can you know, use your energy or your love or your intellect. But 
We live in a physical world, guys. We this is you have to somewhat, to some degree, be a path of action, a path of a yogi of karma. That's uh, that's where you know that's what they they understand karma as over in Western philosophy. Um, oh, I apologize. In Eastern philosophy, they they say your karma isn't a built up of your good or bad, but it's a it's it's your action. It's what. It's what transpires, it's what you put your energy and your focus to, guys. So, with all that said, use Saturday, use the rest of Friday to take full advantage. Sacrifice that little time to make it happen. I'm going to see you guys on Sunday for the Weekend Warrior. And uh, that's what it comes down to. I hope you guys are doing the work making those course corrections, keep sacrificing that little bit for that higher pleasure. This is Max Fisher from A Better Universe, your mind, body, spirit connection. See you later.